Lane Fowler grew up in upstate New York. He, too, made the trek west to BYU, and 30 years later, well, he's still here. And tonight we break down the magnificent seven, or at least the front seven of the Cougar defense, which you think might be the best they've ever had. Yeah, I think in terms of depth and overall talent, it's as good as they've ever had, if not better. You think back to, like, 1984 when you had Leon White and Kurt Govea manning the outsides. Um, I think that this group matches up athletically with that group, and they have so much more depth. It's really exciting. Let's start with uh, Juana Kavinga, the USC transfer who that people have been buzzing about since he showed up in spring. Uh, he, he's a flat-out leader out on the field, and he plays with so much passion. Doesn't take false steps, has a great sense of where to flow to the football, and he uses great leverage inside. He's a block in there at 255 pounds. 5'11", 255, when he steps up to take on a fullback and to fill a hole, he comes violently up, and he is going to stalemate that fullback in the hole and make some great plays. But he also has the ability to run from sideline to sideline. He's going to be a big-time player. Is he a Rob Morris kind of guy? He, in, in the way that he reacts to the football, I think he's much like Rob Morris. And then, you know, on the outside, you've got Jamison Frazier. And this is a guy who has defensive back type speed on the outside, which is what you need in this 3-4. You've got to be able to drop back and cover the pass. You see Jamison doing it there. But also be able to be stout enough to come up and defend the run. And Jamison is a very smart football player, comes from a great heritage. You know, his father played here and was a great linebacker. Um, and he has all the tools to be a big-time outside backer. Jordan Pendleton, he's healthy. We might get to finally see him reach his potential. Well, and Jordan Pendleton's a guy that even his own teammates are afraid of. He's just a <laughs> freak. He, they call him the beast because he is just so put together physically. Great pass rusher. When he's coming off the edge, he's too quick for a tackle to handle. And if you try to pick him up with a running back, he's just going to demolish that running back. And he was out full speed this morning in practice for the first time this fall. Great to see him back. Kyle Van Noy, we got to see some of his explosive nature last season. Well, just a young player last year. He's scary because he's starting to understand it this year. He is probably the best physical specimen. He's got that size that you see in NFL linebackers. He can cover a lot of ground, and he is intense in the way he plays. He's going to be really good this year. There's a handful of others we could talk about, but uh, Brandon Ogletree is the ring leader of the group, the vocal leader. He uh, He's the one they'll follow. Well, they hope he's not just riding the bike right. this fall, but, but he's 5'11 and 225 pounds. As I've watched him develop, he reminds me of Kyle Whittingham. Really? When he played here at middle backer. And that is a very, very big compliment. Kyle was, you know, a very intense player, played with those big eyes and, and ran the team a great leader and ran well from sideline to sideline. When I watch Ogletree play, I was trying to think of who he reminds me of, and it's Kyle Whittingham, and that's a big-time player. Those are just five guys. You say they go nine deep. Yeah, they go, they go you know, we haven't even talked about Hadley, who has an outstanding player. Right. I saw a freshman in the scrimmage Saturday, um, Austin Heater from Pleasant Grove, make a couple of big plays. They've got guys, uh, you know, coming out their ears at linebacker, and they need that to be able to play in this 3-4. Now let's move up to the line. Who do you like on that defensive well, line? Well, you know, I like Ethan Montemaliuna. He's got experience. He's been there. He's made big plays. Romney Fuga is also a solid player there. You, you need five or six guys that you can rotate on that defensive line, and BYU has that. that that's why I think they're going to be so good this year defensively you know you, you look at uh, Montemaliuna he played as a true freshman right. great lower body really really strong and he's a guy that has played the nose but he also now has moved out to the end he's got the speed and the power to to eat blocks to take up guys and let those those linebackers run and make tackles and Romney Fuga uh, who's playing nose tackle, you know, you could define him as a block eater. He's going to take two guys to contain him on that offensive front. They're going to take a guard and a center to come after him. And when they double team him, now all of a sudden Brandon Ogletree and Wona Kavinga and those guys can run to the football without being tied up with an offensive lineman. You were at practice today. And you said that they, the defense let the hounds out. What does what do yeah, that even mean? Bronco definitely released the hounds today. <laughs> um, you know, the offense looked good. They were real aggressive on yeah. Saturday in the scrimmage. Today they turned the, the tide a little bit. They let these defensive linemen come, and they also uh, took those linebackers and ran a variety of stunts and blitzes and even some secondary blitzes. I don't think this offense was prepared for them uh, to, to release these guys. When I say release the hounds, it's these guys I'm talking about. <laughs> Jordan Pendleton coming off the edge and Kyle Van Noy coming off the edge. 
a variety of blitzes, and Bronco really gave us a peek this morning into what we might expect this fall from this defensive front seven. He's very confident that he has the athletes to really pressure the quarterback, and it all starts with that with that core of linebackers. And uh, um, I hope that we get to see out on the field what, what he did this morning. That offense was a little bit confused, and that's okay. Yeah. The defense is supposed to be ahead at this point in practice in fall camp, and today you know, they exercised uh, their athleticism and came after the quarterback pretty good. Okay. Backs and receivers next week? Yeah, we'll, we'll right. break them down. Good job. Thanks, Blainer.